Hi, my name is Sri Lakshmi and I'm the Marketing and Communications Director for Asia Pacific based out of Singapore. Um, Kone Asia Pacific uh, currently handles eight countries, which is Australia, New Zealand, India, and we have the six Southeast Asian countries, which is the uh, Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Thailand, and uh, Vietnam. So this is, the, this, is the, this is the geography that we are spread out in. And uh, Kone, of course, we are a global organization, and uh, most of the of the products that we have in this region comes from our China facility. We have two big facilities, one in, in Finland and the other one, of course, in, in China. And we kind of have a lot of products coming in from China into the Asia market. And of course, India is a different, uh, I would say it's a different story because India in itself is a very big country which has more than 40 branches in the country. And there's a supply line, a unit that's placed in Chennai, which is the southern part of India. And India's supply is predominantly handled by the supply line, which is in India. But if you look at Kone, we have different kinds of products. We cater to the high rise, the mid rise, the low rise. So depending on the kind of product that you want, uh, it could get com coming from either of the countries. And if I take India as an example, most of the low and mid rise are handled by the India factory themselves. Right. Only the high end products come in from either Finland or from China, whereas Australia, New Zealand, and the Southeast Asian countries are catered by China factory. Could we discuss a little bit about your predictive analysis? Sure. Uh, this was in 2000, uh, early 2016, that Kone had a joint venture with IBM. And what's happening today is that, you know, uh, everybody, uh, if you look at every customer, the first thing he tells is, I want peace of mind. I do not want my elevators to break down because it can affect my revenue, my people flow in the building. So how do we actually understand what could be the call out of the elevator before the elevator breaks down? What are the problems the elevator can, see, it is a machine. It can break down. It's not that it's breakdown proof, you know. So this is a very, uh, it's, it's a data analytical tool, which is actually, we use the, the IoT Watson cloud platform of IBM, and we actually collect data. So it's predicting the breakdown of the elevator much before the elevator knows it will break down. And I, think, I think this is very important because today customers, if you ask them, they say, how, how, have, how did you know my elevator is breaking down? We have a simulation, a live, the data is collected by a cloud, and analysis happening every day. So we know that and an elevator life is normally judged by the starts and the stops how many starts and how many stops it has, you know. So very easily the data can tell you how many has starts and stops have the elevator gone through and what is the cycle that it could break down in, you know. So it's much known to us much in advance. We actually go and clear the problem much before it happens also. And I think it could vary between segments because the hotel segment to residential to retail are very different. The people flow in retail is very high compared to probably residential. The breakdown, the, the amount of breakdown that can happen or the periodicity could vary. I think such tools will really help us understand uh, you know, how we can take care of elevators better and give the customer peace of mind. And how's the business so far in India subcontinent and also in Asia the business? Uh, I think if, uh, if I can quote my the personal reporter who is the executive VP and he's a part of the board also, he always says that Asia is the growth engine. If you look at markets like Europe and, and probably uh, the Americas, they have it's a much more mature market, so they have a large base of installed elevators and service becomes the main business for them. But if you take this part of the world, we still are growing. I mean, the infrastructure growth, if you walk into, I'm in Philippines just for two days, and I walked around and I've seen so much of construction happening here. I think these are the growth markets, so there's a lot of, in, in, in we have two kinds of businesses in, in, in Kone. One is the NEB, which is the new equipment business, and the service equipment business. So this market predominantly drives a new equipment business, you know, so which means the infrastructure growth is so high.